I have had particular issues of what I'll call interference. There were two particular issues because they are well known in the media. I can mention them. In 2011, I was nominated as the candidate of the executive committee to contest the seat on the CAF executive committee. And you are all aware that there was a letter from government proposing another person. Then in 2010, when we came back from the World Cup, the FA premises were besieged or ransacked or overwhelmed or overtaken by officials from the EOCU. We took the matter to the High Court and the High Court declared it illegal and awarded damages of 50,000 Ghana cities against the states. These are the clearest examples of interference that will readily come to mind. But I thought they were needless because the government could have engaged the FA to seek a compromise on each of these very issues without doing giddy giddy giddy. It's not necessary.